is used so effectively. First we was all together. Then they started to put us in different rooms separately. Different cops coming back and forth and one cop saying, well, we just heard that a woman was raped and beaten in the park. What happened over the next day or so was uh, just merciless interrogations by the city's most dedicated professionals. And um, they worked these kids and it was a kind of circular firing squad. They said, look, we know you didn't do it, but another guy that you've never heard of is saying you did it. So if you tell us that he did it, then we'll let you go. It just kept going on and on and on. We stopped a few times. I was crying. I had no protection. My father didn't do anything. I was scared. I was half past. The time kept going by. They kept asking questions. No food, no drink. I didn't eat. I didn't get no sleep. And I didn't know when it was going to end. And of course, one of them didn't go home for 13 years, and most of them got about seven years, even though there was no DNA that matched them. These are 14, 15, and a developmentally challenged 16-year-old who are struggling to keep up. And ultimately, they gave these statements, which became the only evidence against them that ultimately convicted them. These boys.